What's up YouTube? Today I'll be showing you what PayPal is about and how to create an account. So let's get to it. Okay, so before I show you exactly how you can create your very own PayPal account, I just want to give you a quick overview on exactly what PayPal is, what their services are, and you know how it can best suit your needs. So with that said, let's just jump into it here. So first off, why should you use PayPal? Very good question. PayPal currently holds 254 million active consumer accounts, and in addition to that, works with more than 17 million merchant accounts. So what this means is that a very, very large majority of online uh, retail stores, um, websites, and etc. use PayPal as their primary payment or money transfer um, network. Now these accounts range from personal finance accounts to quote unquote bigwig corporate accounts. So what that means is that it's easy for literally anybody to use uh, PayPal for money transfers um, or sending or receiving payments. Literally anybody can use this as long as you have a bank account or a credit card um, in addition with an email and a telephone number preferably a mobile but you know if you have those three things you can easily create your own PayPal account so let's move on to PayPal's user experience um, so what this is is basically how easy is it for a uh, user to, to uh, utilize the app um, how easy is it to navigate the platform and whatnot so first off uh, PayPal is extremely transparent with its terms of use um, and it does not lock you into any type of contract uh, with any kind of hidden fees or anything of the sort. So that's a really good thing. You know, there's a lot of companies that will charge you uh, large percentages of transactions or deposits and whatnot from when you're trying to put money into your account or send money to somebody else. PayPal doesn't do any of that until uh, unless you're trying to transfer money out within a day. They'll take it's like three cents on the dollar or something like that. It's super low. Um, so that's that's one benefit of PayPal. PayPal also offers numerous integration methods so that uh, you can be certain that PayPal will sync with your website, um, like your shopping cart, uh, donation tab, uh, anything like that. Um, so it, it's it's super convenient and compatible with any kind of website builder. And chances are that most of your viewers that you know visit your website or you know whatever your following may be. There's a very high chance that they have a PayPal account because it is so popular, so it's super convenient. Uh, I also don't want to forget to mention that their app um, also allows you to send or receive money on the go at any time. You know, if you have your phone, uh, mobile phone on you and you have the PayPal app and your account is linked to your phone, uh, you can send, receive, you know, deposit, whatever you got to do with your money uh, as long as your account is linked to your phone. You can do it on vacation, you can do it uh, at work, or, you know, whatever. Um, you know, whatever's easier for you, which makes PayPal very, very convenient. So just to wrap things up really quick here, I just want to touch on the three parties that, uh, that can benefit from, you know, utilizing PayPal. So first off, there's the buyers. Uh, buyers will find that PayPal is a very easy and secure way to make purchases. What I mean by this is if you purchase something online uh, by using your PayPal account, and say that product uh, never arrives, or it arrives and it's broken, or it's something that something other than what you ordered. You can contact PayPal, describe your situation, and chances are PayPal will refund you. Um, that that's what I mean by the by the way that they protect their buyers. They want to protect their buyers. Um, they don't want their buyers to be scammed or anything of of the sort. So they'll do everything in their power to help you out. Um, another thing is sellers. Sell sellers also benefit greatly from using PayPal. What I mean by this is a lot of people have PayPal accounts. So what this means is people can you know make one-click checkouts on your website. If someone wants to buy I don't know, a t-shirt that you're selling on your website, all they have to do is click checkout with PayPal, sign it to their PayPal, click done, that's it. You know, they don't have to scramble for a credit card, uh, you know, try to find uh, checkbook, whatever, whatever it may be, you know. Um, so it could really, really increase uh, sales conversions because it's one-click checkout. It's super convenient. 
Um, it's easy to use. I know I use it all the time. I use PayPal all the time to buy things, and I find it so much easier than you know fumbling through a wallet trying to find a credit card. You know, you can add multiple credit cards, debit cards, bank accounts to your PayPal account. So it's definitely, definitely worth you know um, integrating into your website or your business model if you are a seller. Now, last off, I want to talk about money transfers. Um, PayPal ensures that money transfers make their way to the destination safely. Um, I know this firsthand because I am a college student, um, and in the past, um, my parents have helped support me. Um, sometimes, you know, I was a little low, I was a little short on rent, or I couldn't, uh, you know, pay my utilities at the end of the month, or if I just needed some quick, some cash, you know, before my paycheck came in, whatever it may be, um, my parents can just sign into their PayPal account send me a little bit of cash and you know I could deposit it right into my bank account and within 20 minutes not even I can go to the bank and withdraw money cash uh, that they sent me from over nine hours away you know I live nine hours away from my from my original home so you know it's not like I can just drive down the street pick up a few bucks and then leave you know but it, PayPal makes that possible and it is super super easy to use I can tell you from firsthand experience I always use PayPal whether it be business, whether it be um, just personal use, buying things, transfers. You know, it's super convenient and super easy to use. So with all that information, uh, I hope I didn't overload you here, but uh, if you're still watching this, uh, clearly you know I've caught your attention a little bit. So uh, I'm going to show you right here, right now, exactly how you can create your PayPal account in three easy steps. So with that said, um, let's move over to the other page. So with all of that said, we're just going to jump right into it here and get to the first step. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is sign up using your email address. Um, so you could either click my affiliate link down below this, uh, this video, or you can go to Google and look up PayPal, or just go right into your URL search bar and type in paypal.com. Once you do that, you'll be brought to this page right here. So you're going to want to go to the top right corner, click sign up. You'll be redirected to this page where you'll have to choose whether your account is going to be for personal use or if it's going to be a business account. So for this video, we're going to click uh, personal account here. Click next. Uh, now you'll have to enter your full name, your email address, create a password for yourself. Uh, click next, and you'll have to you'll be redirected to the next page where you'll enter um, your address and what you live at, where you receive mail, and whatnot. And uh, once you do that, you'll be directed right into your account so uh, I'll let you guys do that and uh, do that myself and we'll continue this video once I'm inside the account you've done all that you're gonna want to go into your profile and go into summary um, then you're just gonna want to click here on uh, confirm your email now you're gonna want to confirm your email because this is how people are going to be able to find you uh, on PayPal itself this is how you're gonna be able to send and receive money um, so you're going to be directed here and you're just going to, going to want to click the send email button. You're going to see email sent. So now you're going to want to go into your email account, uh, find the email from PayPal, confirm it. You'll be redirected right back to the PayPal page once you confirm it. Uh, and then we'll uh, continue the video once we get that done. Okay, now that our email is confirmed, we're going to move on to step two, confirming our phone numbers. So uh, PayPal uh, allows you to uh, link your phone number to your account uh, for security purposes and um, to make it easier for you to find um, or connect with people you know through contacts to send and receive money from them. So what we're going to do here is just click on confirm your mobile phone. All right, so it's gonna pop up. Uh, it'll have your phone number that you entered when you first signed up with the account. If you wanna use a different number, just click change button right here. Okay, if it's the same um, and you're all good to go, they're going to text you a confirmation code, so you're going to click uh, Get Code. Okay. So I'm just going to wait for that message to go through. And once it does, I'm going to enter it here in the confirmation code uh, bar and click Confirm. And if your code doesn't go through um, or you don't receive it within a few seconds, oh, there we go, mine just popped up here. Uh, just click the Resend button uh, and they'll send you a new code. So I'm just going to enter my code here, and we'll confirm my phone number. Okay, so confirm. And all done. All right, so 
With that done, we can move on to the last and final step. So step number three, you're going to link a card or a bank account. So what PayPal allows you to do is either link a debit card, a credit card, or a prepaid card, uh, like a gift card, like a Visa gift card or uh, any, any other one uh, that's compatible with PayPal. Or you can link a bank account. Uh, so we're just going to click that button here. Should be the last step we have left. And you can either click link debit or credit card or, or uh, prepaid card or link a bank account, whatever you know suits your needs best. Uh, so whatever you need to do, just click on one of those. You have your card or bank account linked, your screen should look something like this. Uh, so now with that, all that done, your account is completely set up. Uh, so now you can receive and uh, send money uh, using your email account, which is associated with your PayPal account. So that's how people are going to find you. So whatever your email is with on the account, that's what you give people to send and receive money. Uh, so right here you see name, email, or number. So if you have someone saved in your uh, contacts, uh, it'll come up as their name or phone number. If not, you just type in their email and you click uh, next and it'll ask if you want to send money or request money. Okay, and if you want to change anything or see what kind of card, what card you have and take anything off, add a new one and whatnot, uh, you'll click on wallet up here. You'll have everything listed up here. I'm not going to show you uh, you know everything I have here just because of privacy reasons um, and it's really that easy you can link a new card you can link a new bank account or you can edit your current uh, linked card or account and either delete it or modify it whatever you have to do uh, you can also check your activity in the activities tab I have no transactions here because I just created the new account uh, but you can track transactions and if you have an issue with any type of transaction um, in the future you can uh, find it right here, click on it, and you'll be able to file a claim with PayPal right from uh, the website or the app. Okay, so uh, with all that done uh, and said, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I hope you found it very helpful um, uh, because PayPal is a great platform to be able to use. Um, so with all, um, look out for more videos to come in the future, and I look forward to uh, making more content for you all. See you later.